All right, so we're going to get started on our ruler, part two. So this is after you get the basic shape down with the inch and the half inch marks. And I'm just going to duplicate these by hitting Control D so I don't have to draw a bunch of straight lines. Okay, now for these quarter marks, you need twice as many as you had for the half inch marks. So I just duplicated it twice. I ungrouped them so that I can make sure that they're all spaced out correctly and lined up. So I'm just going to come over here in the Align tool. I'm just going to align them to the bottom so that they're not in the way of the ruler. I'm going to set that distance to 0.5 because that's what I want to have from there to there. Those match up. And then I'll space those out. Make sure you click the measurement spacing. Okay, now those are all spaced together, so I'm going to bump them back together in a group. And then to get these lined up, uh, you can drag them. You can get them probably pretty close, uh, but it's a good idea to check. So mine's over a little bit. Um, you can drag it down, get it to match up with the line, but it's better to use the dimensions and the measurements in the X and Y to get these to line up. Okay, so I'm lining these up at 0.25, which is a quarter inch, and then 4 is the top of the page. Okay, now I'm going to double check my dimension. 0.25, which is what I want. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is select those and make them shorter because these are a different indicator line. So we'll make those half again as big, roughly. Okay, now this is where you can kind of stop. But if you have extra time, I want you to work on getting the next chunk of marks, right? So then, again, you're going to have double the amount. So I just duplicated the last set of lines that I drew twice. Got them roughly in the right spot. Okay, and then I'm going to align them all to the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to ungroup them. And then just double check and make sure that spacing is correct, right? So if I use a half inch, uh, that's too far, right? So I have to go half again as much space as I had before. So those are going to be 0.25. And then those are going to drag up into spot there. And then again, I'm going to try to get them close, but really, I want to make sure they're grouped in case I unclick them accidentally so I don't have to move 24 lines. And then I kind of move it up here with my mouse, get it relatively close, right, but still using those X and Y coordinates to get it exactly where we want it to be. Now, when you get down this small, uh, sometimes the decimals aren't enough. So you can go up in that top toolbar there and bump it out another decimal. And then if I try to move this whole roll over with one click on my arrow key, it might be too much or not enough, right? So in this case, I want this number to be 0.125, and it's 0.123. And just move this thing out of the way a little bit so you can kind of see the number. And now you can hold down control and it'll make smaller movements. Um, but really this is one of those situations where you either have to manually move it and check your measurement or you have to f type that value into the X value to get it to put be positioned correctly. Okay, and then again these are another indicator line shorter. So if I pick a number that's a roughly half of what my last one was, so like 0 0.07. Okay, and now I have tick marks even further down. And if you want to, you can do metric on the other side of the ruler. That's up to you. Uh, but now I'm going to use the text tool to click and place numbers for my lines, roughly where they would sit 
on the ruler and then we're going to use the alignment tool to get them close to lined up. Now these aren't going to be an inch apart because it takes in account the width of the letter. Uh, so you kind of have to play around with this setting a little bit. So a half inch is too much uh, or too little, one inch is too much. Um, so try somewhere around 0 0.8. See how close that gets you to having those line up on the lines. It's pretty close. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And this all depends on which font you pick. That number is going to change a little bit. Okay, but those are roughly positioned where I want them to be. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more function here uh, to give a little bit more information on my ruler. So I'm going to do some half inch marks and I'm going to duplicate these out for how many I need, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six half point marks. Okay, and again, same process. I'm going to align them and I'm going to get them spaced out so that they fit roughly where I want them to be on the ruler. And this part doesn't have to be perfect because these are just labels, labeling the lines that we made sure were exact. So in this case, 0.85 was too much. Uh, 0.8 looked like it worked a little bit better. And like I said before, if you pick a different font, that spacing is going to be a little bit different. Okay, and then make sure you put your name on it. Okay, and then if you want to add some of these circles in with specific dimensions, so this is a half inch circle. And it would be good to add text next to these two that lets you know what the diameter of the circle is. So when you're using it as a drawing tool assistant, you know what you're working with. So I just put a couple examples on here. The big key with this is that you want to make sure that the shapes that you choose to draw are not too close to the edge of the ruler because when you cut it with the laser, something like this will cut through to the edge. It'll make that part really brittle. So you want to make sure you move those shapes up into the ruler a little bit. Okay, and then you're going to use the shift click function. So you're going to hold down shift and you're going to click on the outer part of the ruler and then anything else that you want to have cut out of the ruler. So these shapes and then you're going to select that red cut line color by right clicking the red so that we know that that's what we want the laser to cut out. Good luck.